It's time. Let's take it into the first game of NA East. Thank you so very much, Zeke. And like he said, we are kicking things off right now with the reboot round for the NA East region. This is Nate Hill we're touching base with right now. Aussie, how are things going to be looking for him? He's been on a bit of a struggle bus in the solo competition. There is a yeah. lot of pressure right now. We're starting out with Royalty, Nate Hill, obviously being a huge name in Fortnite for a very long time and showing why just jumps through, gets the easy 70 tag and finishes him off. I mean, it's it's an interesting drop. It's one of those ones you think would be a little bit safer, but there's quite a few areas around here where people go for these safer rotates. So, yeah, looking like with the henchman in between, which is always going to change things up. And there it is, has to go for the henchman. Maybe trying to stay secret there. Can't stay secret for long. You've got to take out the henchman. Ramp's coming out. Here we go. Damien's going for it. Loses the high ground very quickly. Ramp's straight up in line. Doesn't put up a floor. Doesn't put up a wall to try and block that one. Has now lost the high ground. Only has 14 builds as well. Early agency, when henchman drops mats, it was a little bit easy to deal with. But now it's very difficult to find those materials for these long engagements. But Damien taking the low ground shot, the 80 pump tag. SNG spray coming out. I think he's got him on the back foot. Doesn't make the same mistake twice. Drops the cone to block the stair. And now he's going to try and find his way. It has the editor. There it is. And if I can see that right, he also had the purple pump. That was a massive pickup for Damien. If he now has uncontested agency, grabs the vault and a purple pump. To another major point of interest, it's going to be the shark here where Looney's is fighting for his life right now. He's going to be going up against Sky's Assault Rifle and the Shark Grappler loot right now as he loses the high ground. He's trying to build his way up here, Ozzy. How's he going to be able to manage this one here? Yeah, he's in this fight. It's interesting to see he's dropped at the shark. So we got like a bit of a... Oh, he jumps down, takes him out. Oh, the beautiful pump shot, the flick pump. We all know Looney's. Obviously, if you guys have seen it, for me, one of my favorite stories going into World Cup, qualified for solos. I think, I mean, that video got a lot of views. I'm pretty sure most people know Looney's story if you've been watching for a while. But he sees today, Arab's not there. Shark's up for grabs for me now. Yeah, don't count him out. Finishing 153rd in the week too. So he was almost there. He was knocking on the door. We'll see if he can continue to pile drive through this competition today as we have seen up until now the week two performers tend to stay consistent all the way through they are definitely the scariest to look out for now looking at drew here though who's in a cone he's gonna try and jump out going for the 50 50 but multiple players here ozzy it's not looking good for him the shots are coming in no, yeah, the Sharks smell blood in the water. They're trying to push in for this one. Has there to go through, jumps around. It was interesting. He had the cone advantage. He had the sneak shot. But Pandas had just had the advantage there with the wall. Put it up so quickly. It just shut down that engagement. But game number one. So if you're tuning in, things are just kicking off. Look at the momentum that the lobby is kind of moving at right now. This is big time right here as everyone wants the points. It's make or break for the top 20. And Panda is going to find Riots here now. He's off to a great start. But don't forget... There is still one more player remaining here. It's Jake. He's going up for height. Jake's at the high ground. He's got an advantage, but I mean, you have to put you have to put your money on Panda right now. He's actually held his own against two previous players. Can he make it three in a row? That is some huge points on the board. If he can then walk away with that, has the flopper and six minis too. Has what is a really good loadout still. One launch pad too. So he's won these fights without losing too much health. Goes the double header with the 126. I mean, this might be something we have to look out for today, Monster. He's just destroyed three people, and he's now got 13 points on the board. What, five minutes into game one? You know, reboot round that you want to be off to, but... Goes for the trade, and now he wants it. Good block here. He's just taking control. This player is slipping through all the builds, but he's trading the shots that he needs here with the green tactical shock and oh. shot. The shot is going to slip through the build, though. Perfectly timed for Moby. And that's going to be the fall of Nate Hill here. This guy's going to jump out in what I believe is going for a campfire nearby. As Taki is inching his way straight towards it. Yes, we hear the harpoon weapon going off. It's oh, Mars nice. OW. Mars, oh. one of the popular ones that players were looking out for. Popular players here just in the reboot round itself. One of our controller players. Very, very dominant on the scene. He's been around for such a long time. One of the earlier pickups for the phase team here. See how Benny's going to play out here. It looks like he's trying to set up to protect himself. Very nicely done. That's already his floor here. Good pressure right now, Ozzy. Ooh. That's a white shot, so no shield on this guy. Vinny's trying to set the jump in, and there it is. He's going to finish up Llama real quick. There's more yeah, players nearby in the map. He's already on the way here. Let's see if he can hit this heavy sniper right here. This is going to be big for him. V, we're following Ooh. for a reason, and that's he the reason it. right there. It's Nanolite. Oh, no damn. way. Nanolite, Nanolite goes one of those down. For players, obviously on this deep rotation, Nanolite performed insanely well at DreamHack. He doesn't decide to shoot it down. Instead, he's going to wait for it to land here, leaving his top open. Though there is a player right nearby, you can see 
Okay, he gets away with pulling it the first time. I heard a C4 come down. It's not going to be anything, though. As he lands a 75 shot here, Ozzy. He needs one more. Another 75. It's going to be 150. And another 75. So it's three in a row right there. Upgraded Shocklin for him now. Well, yeah, so he had the purple pump out of the airdrop, and I got excited by that, but no, uses the green tack to take down Squish and takes away his legendary pump, so his loadout's looking very good. Dab, 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 well, Tezza, sorry, was one of those players that did. That is right. We know the power of the shock and the tack attack. Really get in the box and wrap things up quick. Reboot's going to use that little moments here now to back up, find himself to safety, but not before more pressure comes in. And he's just running out of material right now, so honestly, it is make or break moment for Reboot. We're going to see if he can... Swing things around here. This fight that he's getting into with YouTube Efwe here. Got to make some big plays right now. He's got the heavy sniper trying to get the reload off. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Instead, this player jumps in the box. And it's 198 with the two shotgun shots that he puts on that player right there. There's another one underneath. The heavy sniper comes out. The double edit comes in. And once again, another 50-50. There's another player shooting that floor out. And reboot round just seems like he can't catch a break. Not just yet. So he's still got the fourth flop of six minis. He's got quite a lot of materials. He's got a big refresh now. And with the heavy sniper, you can go for those plays. So he backed himself. He used the materials quite heavily, like you said. But with that heavy sniper, he knew that he could just pretty much full send it and try and get in someone's box. We're talking about competitive royalty. We have reverse 2k here as well. We'll see anyone who's down here with no launch pad like reverse is going to be in quite the struggle. Not a bad time to get proactive as he's going to find Thresh and all of Thresh's goodies as well. It's going to be more material for him to kind of branch his way out. He's got, a few, he's got a few people around him, but there's actually less people up here on the mound than what I would think. This is where you want to be right now, because, I mean, if zone goes back down, you've still got a good advantage. And we see Looney's, who we saw earlier up there, he's got that grappler, remember. So in this zone, this is exactly what he wants. A mountain zone with the grappler, you have such a strong position on top of everyone. You can just take high ground and jump off it whenever you want, basically. And the kind of geography, the map, the way it's going to play out is going to make it that much more intense and more difficult. If this zone goes east, look how many plays there are right on the west side. If they have to make their way up over this mountain and then down, that is going to be absolute shambles. We're going to have to see, ooh, some community launch pads. I mean, he goes for the placement, but that was a nice safe elimination. That was pretty much incredibly low risk all reward there. Picks up a nice elim, another four points. The loot gets taken by the harpoon, but what does he really need? Maybe, what, a better AR? He's still got legendary pump, 145 mats, good meds. He didn't need any of that loot, but I think he'll take the four free points from the elimination. The enemy inside the box able to hold these walls and the leash has to probably back off, I'd imagine. Oh, never mind. He's still going for this. He wants this so badly. I don't think he's actually yeah, got any tags. He's getting faces in the cone, face to the floor, and it's Vix, who we saw earlier pick up that elimination with the heavy sniper. He had the loadout to close this out, and I think that's the story of today. These guys are all set up for success, and they're just falling short in game one. Those elims are the biggest ones right there. This late into the game, Elise now with the launch pads, the extra shield, the refresher on material. He is looking so good to take this game away. Yeah, it's a it tough zone. It is still over I mean, land, at least. I mean, I've seen this one here. A lot of people have been talking about recently. Maybe do we see a bit of the... I know it's called the stutter pad for trick shot. It's possibly the Arab pad. He's kind of coined it recently. We talked to him earlier. Using that stutter pad off the high ground to just launch yourself straight down. The glider doesn't pull, and you get to just kind of traverse all this verticality in such a quick instance, and no one can shoot you. It's interesting to see whether Elise maybe goes for that, or whether he wants to be the one who takes this high ground, because it's going to be a very, very high 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 ground, though. A lot of people... There it is. It's dropping down the high ground. Gets attack shot, though. Finds the limb on his way Ooh. down. That's the problem. As you're dropping down this verticality, you're so exposed to those kind of shots from the leash. And look at his loadout right now. It, it can't get any better. He doesn't gain anything but four points from these limbs, but that is still a lot to gain. And he's slowly dropping down. Doesn't want to have happen to him what he just did to another player. So he's going to box up and just wait for people to drop down first. Goes for the pad. It isn't the stutter pad that maybe could have been better, but he can now pick where he wants to drop. And there it is. Never mind. Finds a beautiful mid-ground layer. And he can just set himself up here. This is such a crazy fight. When is... It enough though is he low enough now i think he is i think this now finding himself kind of in the middle of the pack here everyone else still has to come down remember he also has this rocket launcher right here he can put this rpg to big use on anyone that's too high up and this is where it's probably going to come into play now players are starting to suspend themselves out and kind of over here things are popping off i still see reverse 2k in the feed just now i see vivid fall there as well zypha falls too we're now approaching that top 10 here's a liege inching his way back up the mountain Running short on material, though. He's trying to see if he can find himself another frag right now. This is getting more and more impact. intense. He's got the rockets to try and open up these builds and find his way through. He's looking for the launch pad. Find some clear space. No, he misses it. He goes for the clear space. Now 50 health. Hits his head, which actually makes it a pretty decent pad. So he doesn't stay in the air. 
doesn't let himself vulnerable to shots. That was a very, very nice launch pad. And now he's back on front side of zone. But you touched on it, only has five builds in his back pocket. Elise actually struggling. He made it through the week two. Can he get another limb? He can. That could be the refresh he needed. He struggled in week two. He only picked up 32 points total. And he's on 31 now into the first game. So having a phenomenal performance today for him. Maybe consistency is something to look out for for him. But here we see it. There's seven players alive. And he, he's got everything he needs except for those materials. It's crazy. He's playing that ultimate low ground right now. Doesn't want anything to do with the height. This is going to be a beautiful RPG, though, which is going to open up the breaking of the builds. He's going to actually catch that one as well as that shot connects. No Elon for the falling players, but it's okay as he is still in the running right now. Very much so. He's going to steal that one, too, with just one AR shot. 174 and another body. It's reverse 2K who falls now. Top five remain here at Liege. Still kind of looking to connect right now. Someone's coming out the zone. Ozzy, these are your final players. He's on fire right now. One more shot in a launch pad and a grappler in his inventory. He's going to go up. He's trying to find the last shotgun shot. Little does he know the guy on height doesn't have anything left. It's just going to take one good shot. Can he get it? And yes, he does. The barrel stuff with the AR seals the deal. Elise runs away with it. He just doubled his points effectively from an entire tournament in week two to pick up 65 points in week one. I mean, game one, sorry, of reboot round. That is incredible. He played that 